And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Mokuz. Mokuz is ranked 57th in his Platinum Division with 1,758 points, an even record of 150 wins and 150 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the West up against Mokuz. He is the Red Zerg player in the North. The map is... What? Slag Pits? Yeah, there's a couple new maps out there. I don't know if you guys have been playing recently, but yeah, it threw me off. Never seen these maps before. Uh, I never played a game on them, never saw a game on them, so I, I didn't know exactly what to think. Let's take a look at this map. That, like I said, it is Slag Pits. I, I, I did look it up immediately beforehand. This map reminds me a lot of Metalopolis. I believe that is what they're going for here. Um, with a mix of Zelnaka Caverns, I must say, um, we've got the, the backdoor rocks guarding the, the second expansion, right? There's actually two, or sorry, two d debris right here. Um, meanwhile, the production on. Um, we've got the small little window here. Um, so basically two uh, chokes to the expansion, a relatively narrow ramp up to the main base. Pretty large main base. Uh, gotta keep an eye on this corner if you're up against a Protoss player or even a, a, a Terran player that tries to go for barracks or anything like that. I'm saying my scout around trying to figure out what the hell is supposed to be going on on this map. Um, let's see, what else is... So that's pretty much it. It's just the one and two, right, across the map. Um, there's four spawning locations. Oh, no, sorry. There's also um, the high yield in the middle here. Uh, this one will probably never get used because of our spawning locations. Uh, that's a very risky expansion. On top of being a high yield, he is going to be going for a, a fast expansion here. It looks like that was about a 13 hatch, possibly a 14 hatch. Uh, very early hatchery here. He's feeling relatively safe with the economy build. Is it going to work against me? Probably not. Oh, but he stole my gas. Ugh. Why do I say probably not? I don't want to spoil the game. I don't know if I win or lose. Actually, I probably do, but I'd rather not think about it too hard. Uh, but really, the, the early pressure that, that I typically go for is going to be able to counter this hatchery that's coming up. And, See, this I didn't understand. He let it finish, so I just pulled the SUV off, letting the, the Marine do its work. Uh, you know, six damage at a time. Uh, with the heal every once in a while. That's not something that's terrible. It's, it's going to take me a long time, so I am going to get a bunker up front. Um, I would normally get that, even if he didn't go for the gas deal, but especially since he did go for that, it tells me a couple things. It tells me that he probably will be going for some early pressure here, and already we are going to be seeing the four Zerglings take out, oh, yeah, take out my SUV uh, with two reinforcements coming from the expansion. He is going for metabolic boost, so it looks like that initial, um, the initial hatchery was just so he could produce more Zerglings more quickly, it looks like. Looks like he did transfer quite a few drones. I'm not exactly sure. I have seen that quite often from Zerg players. They'll transfer the drones very early on. Um, try to get half and half, I guess, in terms of um, minerals. But you, you do lose the, the mining time during the travel. Before. So there we go. The bunker is going to save me there. Because otherwise I'm down to just three marines and my SCVs and I would be screwed. So yes, the bunker is very, very important when you're playing against the Zerg player. As you can see, he didn't even have speed yet. And I could have lost that game right there to six Zerglings. He could have easily made more. And as you can see, he did make more. If he had rallied those inside my base, it would have been game over very quickly. Very important to get that bunker up. I am going for a three racks here. Um, going to be going for Marines, Marauders, and Stim Pack. I do like to get the Stim Pack first. I, I realize that by many players' builds, this is a very early Stim Pack, uh, primarily because it, well, it it can't be regained. The health lost 
by these marines and the marauders cannot be regained once it's used by the stim pack until a medevac comes out. The reason that I'm not worried about that is because I attack so often that I will wipe out my army like three or four times before I actually win the game. So 10 damage while I'm pushing on offense is not that big of a deal to me. Plus, especially against a Zerg player, if he goes for a Baneling Nest early, I want to be able to stim and at least attempt to micro away from the Baneling. So I can't guarantee that I'll get it done or get it done well but I will be able to get at least a couple more shots off more than I could thanks to the stim pack than I would without it. I'm continuing to build supply depots around the base, especially right now because I've never played on this map before. Like I said, this was my actual first game on the map, so I do want to show it to you guys because even though it's probably not the best game for me, it is a new strategy. What the hell was that? Oh, that was my bunker. I salvaged it, and I'm going for a push here. I did take out the Zergling here, and as you can see, as a result, he is going to be getting 12 Zerglings all at the same time, along with a Spine Crawler, and what? And two Spine Crawlers. I don't know why these guys went here. They could easily go this way. I think it's because I rallied them to go here, but there's really no reason to do that. Bailing Nest is just now finished, highlighting all of the Zerglings, trying to get as many Bailings as he can. As I'm pushing here, I'm starting to think this is pretty much going to be it. I cannot see the Zerglings and Bailings over here. You can see seven Bailings are on the way. There they spawn, and there they waddle. And I'm trying to get out of there, but no, I can't do it. And as you can see, I'm down to just three or four marauders, so I just let them do their business, trying to uh, let the, the banelings pop. Uh, one here did not. He will live to tell his friends some other day. So if you look at the years lost tab, I have taken, well, he has taken the lead. I have taken the deficit here in the years lost. But if we look at the army tab, I clearly have the larger army here. If I'm able to successfully go in and wipe out his army, I should be able to win the game here. He saw that I was pushing again. The one beanling is coming out. But there is just so many Zerglings here. The one beanling does pop, taking out my mind. That one Marauder cannot take out 25 Zerglings. So that's the game. That's that's pretty much that battle right there. 16 more Zerglings are on the way. It looks like I am going for 5 rats here. I did get the expansion up. So right now it looks like we're going to be a 2 base Terran versus a 2 base Zerg. And I transferred way too many of my pro or my SCVs here. There was really no need to transfer that many. How many do we have here? That is 16. It uh, doesn't leave very many here. And as you can see, there's quite a few minerals left here. There was, that was way too early for a transfer that large. But I am continuing to produce SCVs out of that original base. Looking at the income tab, we I have taken the lead in the in the harvester count because he has focused so hard on the on the, the zerglings and the banelings that he really has sacrificed his income. As you can see, I have over double his mineral income. Uh, he does have two gas up, meanwhile I only have the one, and it looks like he's going for two more here, it looks like. And as you can see, I should have sniped the hatchery when I could. It was so close to being done. Uh, if I had just focused that down, it would have been game over, I believe. But, whatever. Engineering Bay coming up. This this base is not as large as I had thought because once I got this five racks up, I realized that all all everything coming out of these four bears had to go around the outside and up and over. That is not ideal. As you can see, these marines they have to jog. They are not happy about their spawning location there. Engineering Bay is up. It is way late. 13 minutes is not the premier time to go for the Engineering Bay. I am going to be going for a missile turret in the back of my base because he has, yeah, he has Zerglings and Baymans. 
I have to assume that he's going for you this here, but I, there's just no spire. He's not going for it. Instead, he's just going to be going for a certain push there. There's not much I can do to avoid all these big monsters, but I still have enough to finish off everything here. And I'm just left to just three marauders. Yeah, there was not much I could do. He caught me off guard and surrounded me with the zerglings, tried to follow up the bandlings, and there was just nowhere for me to run. He does have his third base up here, keeping an eye on the the high yield expansion, continuing to produce creep not as quickly as I would like. Well, not as I would like, but as he should. Meanwhile, I am continuing to produce SCVs. Are you seeing a theme here? SCVs, SCVs, constantly. I, I, I have a huge lead here, and he has one more base than I do. Six more drones are going to pop out, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to get him even close. No, look, I still have double his minerals, and we're about even. Looks like he might have a little bit more gas than I do, uh, but it's, you know, it's pretty much even except for the minerals, which is what I'm using the most of now. Marines and Marauders are very mineral heavy. I am getting two more factories here. Well, not two more, two factories. These are my only factories. I am also going for my third base here. It's a 15 minute mark, so I'm getting a little bit faster. What the hell was that sound? Did you guys hear that? There it is again. I, I don't know what that is. Infestation pit is on the way, so it looks like he's going to be going for a lair here. Or, no, he has a lair. He's going to be going for a hive, because I can't imagine him going... Oh my god, what are you doing? So this is the important of creep. Look how slow she is. 0.94, as opposed to... Don't make me do that math. It is way too late for me to be doing that math. That's 2.5 even! So, yeah, it's over... 250% faster if he just got the creep. Queen did finally make it. I am going for pre-igniters. Yes, we are going to be seeing Hellions out for me because there are just so many Marines. Not Marines, Zerglings and Banelings once again. Tired does not make a good cast. Which is why I'm always confused when people say they want to see a drunk cast from some of the bigger StarCraft II commentators. I'm like, I I can hardly do it sober. Yeah. I do have a planetary fortress coming in here. Uh, one zergling is not going to defeat my planetary fortress. It's just not going to happen. All these zerglings are coming in. That very well could happen. I did take one marine off of um, what I had here on my big army here. Take it out. But it looks like the command center is going to the Planetary Fortress is going to finish in time and start getting some massive damage done. Meanwhile, while he's distracted, I'm moving in once again, not doing a good job at all handling my Hellions. I'm putting them right out in front to die, and that is not a smart idea because look at that, 14 damage per light, and now 24 damage per light uh, against light. There's no reason to sacrifice them, it's not like that. It's they should be in the back so just one Hellion will survive there. He does have four kills though. And I'm moving in. And I finally sniped that hatch that has been way too long standing up there. And I'm taking out all these all the drugs. Look at that. That number is down to 20. And I have 52. That is not where you want to be as a third player. You have to leave. Just lost count. Taking out all these fine crawlers, they will never see the light of day. Taking out the feet, and the station will go down. Another spine crawler, down goes the hatchery. All these, oh man, all these infectious coming out. So he was not taking that exclusively for Texas. He was going to be getting faster. And that humble growth does do quite a bit of damage to me. But I am able to wipe out his main base, and at this point I'm kind of thinking, why is he still here? But that's because he does have a second hatchery and a spawning pool coming up at that third base here. More assessors on the way. He's taking one game of Bumble Growth, and it looks like he actually might get 
except that I still have an army here. I did repair this planetary fortress, got it back online, have one marine on lockdown here. He's just there to make sure that nothing bad out, nothing else happens. And once again, I thought the game was over, so it doesn't look like I produce. I, I, well, at least I stopped producing for quite some time. That uh, I am picking that back up now that I realize that fungal growth is absolutely destroying my army. What was left of it? And as you can see, I have a large army gathered up here. I'm gonna move that out as well. I'm gonna get a fourth base here. He's pretty much down to just this one base here. He is gonna be getting a second hatchery, but all he's gonna have left are Zerglings. That is all he can do. Along with these four infestors, remember that infestors have the magic so they can pretty much be thinking and I have tactically attacking them properly. Helen will die to come over. That's just how it's gonna go. Once again, Helly and my friend, I don't have it. Going for the hatchery first. That easily goes down, followed by the infestor. He's down just the one hatchery, and there he goes, GG. Way too late. Uh, he did have quite a few minerals and gas, but not nearly as much as I did. Look at that, 1,862 gas. There is no excuse for that. I don't care how much you think you won the game. You need to do better than that. And I'm talking to you, blue guy, whoever the hell you are. Uh, not moving my SUVs. Um, yeah, not producing. No starport still. None whatsoever. Uh, five racks and two factories. Uh, stop producing out of the engineering bay. There's still a lot I could have done. I mean, look, the creep was all the way over here. There's there's no reason for me to have let that happen. Uh, just a raven or a couple um, scans, and I could have taken that out. Uh, especially when he goes for the heavy heavy baneling build, you want to eliminate these creep tumors as quickly as possible. But this was a new map, um, not that that's an excuse for my play, just that that's the reason why I wanted to show the game. New map, different strategies, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.